all right hello guys welcome to my channel if you are watching me for the first time my name is peter so in today's video we are going to be looking at x lookup with named ranges all right we're going to be looking at x lookup with named ranges so this is the table we are going to be using today it contains sales figures sales data for these companies for these months all right so we what we are going to do here is that we want to put inside this cell all right so what we are going to be doing is that after selecting the the company name for example we select go to travel and sales figure for the month of march which is this we want to have this inside here all right that is what we want to achieve in this video but this thing can easily be done with index match we know that index match is a hack all right now but today we're going to be using xlookup to achieve this all right so let's go there let's dive in all right so the first thing I'm going to do is to use uh, data validation because we are going to be needing to, to change this uh, this company name and the and the month. So let's use the data validation now. So let's go home, go to data. Let's use data validation. Select list. So here we are going to select our company names. All right. Press enter. Press OK. Can you see? You can easily select complain. All right, so we're going to be doing the same thing for months. All right, we want to have all these months. We want to have it in a data validation. We want it to appear here. So what we need to do is to go home, go to data, click on data validation, select list. So you need to select our data source, which is from January to December. All right, click OK that is it so we have it from january to december all right so we're going to be using x lookup x lookup so what is our lookup value what are we looking up so we are looking this this is our lookup value uh, the name of the company is our lookup value comma what is our lookup array? So we are looking for this inside these company names. All right, comma. So we're going to be nexting it inside another X lookup. All right, do you understand? So the lookup value for this X lookup is, uh, is the month. Select month. Inside where are we going to find our month? Inside here, can you see? comma so our sales what are we returning so we're returning our sales figure we're returning sales figure all right so let's close it let's close it again let's press enter so for the month for 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 this company trip for less for the month of may we have four thousand for the treat for less month of May, we have 4,107. 4, Can you see? So that's it. So let's check uh, another company, Backpacker, for the month of December. Backpacker for the month of December. This is it. 3883 can you see it's very simple now i want to show you how to how to use named ranges to simplify all this all right i want to show you how to use named ranges to simplify all this so let's do this let's name this hmm? company names company names all right so to do this you select your the companies so you go to to name box and you rename 
this range all right so another one we can rename is the month all right sales months you you select all the months go to the name box and call it sales months all right press enter another thing we need to 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 name another range that we need to name is our sales figures so select all the sales figures go to name box call it sales figures sales figures all right we can actually name this so let's name it select company so let's name this one select select company all right and this one select month select you don't need to put if you put a uh, space here it will not accept it select month let's try that it's not going to accept it you must enter a valid reference you want to go to or type a valid name for the selection so it doesn't accept space so let's just select select months all right now we can do our x lookup in peace all right so x lookup what is our lookup value our lookup value here is select company comma all right so what's our lookup array our lookup array is can you see it company name comma so we are returning this by nesting under x lookup into this one so our return array will be x lookup so what's the lookup value this time around it's called select month comma inside where we are looking for it inside the month sales month and we are returning the the what the the sales figures can you see that can you see that all right so can you see it's still the same so our backpacker for december sales is, is what three thousand eight hundred and eighty three all right three thousand eight hundred and eighty three all right so that's that that's very simple if you don't understand please ask me a question in the comment section please subscribe to my channel like this video so i'm going to in the description i'm going to leave a link where you can download this 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 workbook all right so see you next time